welcome to this video and in this video i'll be teaching you how to supercharge your review of literature your research processes with the awesome power of chrome extensions now there are a whole lot of chrome extensions available on the chrome web store these extensions help to supercharge your uh, process of reviewing literature taking a summary of literature and um, reading through papers and doing wonderful things in the research process and your research route I'll quickly show you uh, the magic of what a uh, different chrome extension does to your research journey now at the moment i am at google scholar and i have a search criteria where I'm searching eccentricity and uh, we have searched for eccentricity and ellipsoidal uh, quantum dot. Now, on this particular Google Scholar, uh, you can find a number of um, strange things, so to say. Uh, you, you could find that for um, all the papers listed here, there is a quick summary of all the papers by my right hand side. This is a uh, a quick summary of all the papers this um, Google Scholar has searched. These 10 papers, this is a quick overview and a quick summary of them. Now, beyond that, on each of the paper, you would see a tab showing uh, related papers and chat with the papers. That is to say that I can communicate, discuss with this paper and sieve out any information whatsoever I wanted out of this paper. Now, let me show you another Google Scholar page, uh, uh, page where I have asked the same question. This is the same Google Scholar, a different one. And my search criteria is still eccentricity and ellipsoidal uh, quantum dot. But on this particular page, as you can notice, there is no summary by my right hand side, no summary whatsoever. On um, each of the paper, there is no um, avenue or there is no space, there is no suggestion that allows me to chat with this paper, get related papers if I wanted, because there is no Chrome extension attached to this particular page. On the other part, I have the different Chrome extensions attached. But on this part, other part, I don't have that Chrome extension. And so those uh, flavors that could aid my research work, that could beautify my research experience, it's not available on this particular Google Scholar uh, page. And that is possible, that is made possible because of Chrome extension. And I'll show you something else that still uh, shows how beautiful you need to get Chrome extension on your work. Now, I have opened a PDF. This is a PDF work. And once I open this PDF, there's a whole lot of things I can do with it. Now, notice that on this PDF, you would see this logo. This is the Google Scholar uh, PDF Reader. It is a Chrome extension. Now, once it is installed on my device, for every PDF document, every PDF um, research paper I open, it will immediately grab the um, PDF document and give me an AI summary. This is a very quick AI summary of this paper. And now, not just that, it allows me to talk, toggle through it. That is, if I click on the abstract, it takes me to the abstract of this paper. If I click on the introduction, I would go to the introduction part of this paper. And beyond that, beyond that beautiful uh, ability to get a quick overview, a quick summary, a, a, a quick uh, review of all that is written on that particular paper, for every uh, citation on the paper, I can dig into it. It has just highlighted the citation and allows me to click on it if i click on any of the citation just like that this is citation one to ten it allows me to see paper one and i can move to paper two 
and I will see what is in paper two, what was cited in paper two. I could go to paper three and paper four until I get to paper ten. And so within the same space, at one glance, I can get to review all of the papers that were cited in this paper, uh, the paper of the PDF I have just opened. But that is not possible if I did not um, include the google chrome extension the p the google p, uh, google scholar pdf reader is what makes that possible now i want to give you a contract so you would uh, see what it would be if i open another pdf document that doesn't have uh, this chrome extension installed yes this is possible because i have the chrome extension installed on this device and uh, when i click on any pdf document it gets to uh, do an ai outline an ai overview of the paper it allows me to assess individually every citation of uh, the papers that was cited in the particular pdf document I have just opened. Now that I have just said is the overview of what Chrome extension can do. Now how many of these Chrome extensions are available? How do I get to assess them? How do I get to use them to supercharge my research process? Now, what can they do for me? Now, before I leave that space, you would just see somewhere here that while I am um, still doing all of what I am doing on this page, there is something here by my right hand side, and it is the site Chrome extension. It allows me to get the citation of any paper while I am looking at any page. Once I'm looking at any page, I can just click on them, I'll click on the site.ai and that chrome extension opens up a citation uh, management space where i can get to uh, work on any paper cite on any paper in any citation style apa M mpa harvard uh, van Gogh, just name them and so what are these chrome extensions that are very important for my research work okay and so what are these chrome extension and how do i get to reach them how do i get to use them how many are they what they are they able to do for me in research writing in um review of literature in searching for relevant literature in citation management what can they do for me first uh chrome extension are uh, ai pad web platforms ai pad web tools that are available on the chrome web store and are specifically designed to support researchers in their business of research now now they, they, they are not just the um research chrome extension there are extensions for almost every business but since I am discussing uh, research and for researchers, I am looking at the Chrome extensions that are available for researchers. And I'll be taking you through an overview of a number of them and what they are able to do. I will show you how they um, appear on your particular research space. To get to the Chrome extensions, you go to chromewebstore.google dot com there is the address chromewebstore.google.com and you can assess all the chrome extension because there are no, no, um, so many of them you would have to search for them one after the other and so to supercharge or to help your search quickly just go to the search bar and you type in a research and uh, hit on enter and all the ones that are available for research would pop up now these are some of the chrome extension available for research the research as uh, the science research assistant here it is uh, this is where you click to install uh, you are seeing install on my on my device because i have already installed them for any i have not installed when i click on them i would have to 
install this is another powerful one uh you can just click on research ai and you get to install it and let me just show you how to install one of them well, so when you click on them it turns open this way you would click here to add to chrome and so once you click to add to chrome just that way it would get to this point where you're asked to add the extension and just click and that extension is now added to your chrome just that way it's already downloading it would install on its own you don't have to um click on installation after that finished downloading on its own i now have that chrome extension and immediately that's appeared here these are all the chrome extensions i have installed on this device on this particular chrome browser i have on this chrome browser size space i have on this chrome browser the um google scholar pdf reader i have the google scholar bothing i have uh, the, the the site dot ai i have um uh this other one cite this for me these are all different chrome extension that supercharges my research work once i am on the chrome um web browser and so one one particular chrome extension you should have is the site space chrome extension just type site space and it will pop up and this is the chrome um extension called the site space extension it can do a whole lot of beautiful things for you now for example just want to show you what um, site space does this summary you saw here on my google scholar platform was made possible by site space also this ability to chat with a paper or to search for related papers is also possible by site space site space is one important chrome extension you should have the next important chrome extension is site site is also a very very powerful chrome extension once you open up um a research paper it quickly shows you how to cite them and that's what it does it allows you to cite publication site is another very important um, chrome extension you should have on your device the next chrome extension you should have on your device is the google uh, scholar pdf reader a very new chrome extension in fact i think it is less than a month old it was introduced to the web space this chrome extension allows you to read through any pdf whatsoever allows you to cite the pdf allows you to see every citation that is on the pdf and beyond that it allows you to download any pdf document so easily and allows to create a citation um library just like these are the important things it can do it can allow you to um google through a image a research figure and begin to describe the figure for you very important chrome extension you should have the google scholar pdf reader another one you should have i said before that if you want to assess all the different chrome extension that are available to supercharge your research just go to the search bar and you type research and once you type research all of the the chrome extensions that are available for research will pop up another one you should have is the arrow discovery arrow discovery allows you to find related papers allows you to cite them allows you to find the relationship between two or more papers in fact it can even create for you a um, literature map shows you how this paper connects with the other paper and how the other paper connects with the other one and their common themes their common gaps if you like and um the common things they have explored and so these are some of the very important chrome extension you should go right away to chrome web store and get them attached to your device to your chrome web browser so that each time you're discussing research you're searching literature they would be available to help your research to supercharge them and to make you do so much in a very short time chrome extension is the big deal in research